New Jaguars head coach Doug Peterson eager to get to going, saying that anything less than a championship caliber team, you're in and you're out, it will be unacceptable. However, the other big storyline coming out of the press conference today, who would have the final say as far as 53-man roster? And will Trent Baalke be a part of the front office long term? Well, I was just a year premature, okay? So I did get it right. <laughs> Jaguars owner Shah Khan, a bit snippy, still having to answer questions about saying basically that same thing a year ago when he hired Urban Meyer. But this time, he thinks he's gotten it right by bringing on a proven winner and a Super Bowl champion coach in Doug Peterson. This is not an overnight fix. This is not, you know, we're just going to snap our fingers and start winning football games. Our goal is to win football games. Having the right coach is just one part of the equation. Having the right people in the front office is two, both of which the Jags have failed at since Khan bought the team. It's going to be a collaborative process, and I think all of us are aligned. The goal here is to win. All of us includes Trent Baalke, who, despite calls from fans for Khan to fire him, and despite rumors that top candidates had issues with Baalke being the GM, is being charged with helping to make the Jags winners. People talk about that all the time. Uh, this question's asked in 32 buildings across the league. Who has power? Who has, uh, who's the final decision maker? Show me one building where you're not collaborative and you're winning. You know, it just doesn't happen in the National Football League. One of the things that I, I like about Trent and one thing that kind of drew me to him uh, in this situation is how, how open he is, how transparent he is. And, and a lot of full disclosure, and it's, it's disclosure within, within the structure that, that we're trying to build and the team we're trying to build, and, and uh, the fact that he's allowing you know, myself and, and others in the, in the personnel department. You know, we did, listen, it's, it's about the input, you know, and we got to have these, as I mentioned earlier, just dis tough discussions, right, on players and how we build it, but uh, this is something I'm looking forward to. As for right now, Doug Peterson's main job is putting together his coaching staff.